Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. Let's get into this. Uh, we're doing very well. I think we are pretty destined to win. The only thing that's going to slow us down now is some unfavorable gate bursts. Uh, so let's get into this. We're just going to move over to Angie. And we now have one, two... Yeah, so we now got two gates, and we have one, two, three, four open gates. Now remember, you only need six gates to win. Now we have gate bursts, which is annoying. Uh, we actually just had a gate burst here last turn. But if we look, we've got an elder sign. We've got six clues, six clues, uh nine clues so what that basically means is we can now close four gates so we're going to send people out to close all these gates and we should be able to basically finish the game in a couple of turns unless there's some nasty surprises so angie she hasn't got enough gas to close a gate so she's basically going to still hang around on combat duty uh for now though i think what are we going to do with her? She's got no money. Let's just go one, two to the administration building. See if we can get some money. Skids O'Toole. We are going to send him up into a gate. So he's just going to go one, two into the Plateau of Lang. We're going to put his fight up one so we can get to five fight easily. And I'll put his speed down by one as well, because we have two speed just from this. So that way we can have five sneak, we can avoid any monsters. Over here, now something <laughs> that I've been forgetting about forever is this. I don't know how long I've been forgetting about this rule, but I definitely forgot about it recently. But Bless, Curse, Bank Loan, and Retainer cards do not require an upkeep roll on the first phase after being acquired. So basically, you get one free round. So you can't lose it the very turn next time you get it. So you didn't really technically need to lose this thing. So in this mod, if you tap to the left like that, it'll automatically untap. If you tap to the right like that, it won't untap. Basically, when I get these retainers, I'll just place them into the board tapped. And that way I'll know that I don't need to roll for them. Point is, I don't need to roll for this guy. So I don't, I won't. <laughs> okay, so here's another guy. We have no idea what we're supposed to do with him. Uh, he's got really nothing to do. Let's uh, go to Mars Boarding House, I guess. Over here, we get two cash. And then we roll a die. Okay, so that's two. So what I think I'm going to do with... So they're all these people together. These are all going to... All these characters are going to go into gates. All three of these. So what I might do is I'll give... Two bucks to you, likes that, as part of a trade. And then looking at the trading, we're also going to give the Elder Sign over to uh, Achi, because she has the gate box. And is there any spells we want to nick off this girl? Not really. That's about that. Okay. And then she's going to go one, two, three, four. Now that loses our stamina from the great Cthuga. And we just have to deal with this maniac, which is pretty trivial. We have a focus of two, so I'm just going to put her fight up to five. And that's because, boom, this guy does not have a 
horror check. And of course, we're, we are at terror level one, so there's no issues there. Which means that we actually get to roll six dice, even without any kind of bonuses. And that should be enough to kill this guy, I would hope. Oh, can you believe that? Oh, wait, here we are. I should have used this, plus two to combat checks. I forgot I had a physical weapon. Boom, okay. And that's it. Dead. And she's ready to go into the gate. Now over here we have her, she's got a, quite a lot of setup stuff. So she rolls four dice, because she's got, uh, actually she rolls way more than four dice. What am I talking about? So her law is five plus two. So she's actually got uh, seven dice, plus she has plus one of spell checks. So that's eight dice minus one. So that's seven dice she rolls. We've already passed with the dice we had, but it's just fun to roll seven dice. And this will give me uh, plus one die, okay? So now, I now have five, six, seven, eight law alone. So it's eight minus two gives me six. That's a pass. So let's draw a spell. And we have lure monster, which is kind of cool. Anything else I have here that's of interest? You know what, I should have given Mist of Relia to this girl during the trading. So I can just, I'll just quickly do that now. I'll also give her Implant Suggestion. Okay, so we've got a spell. Uh, what else do we want to do? That's pretty much it. There's nothing else we can really do. So she's also going to go, she's got four movement. So she's going to go one, two, three, four. Uh, no, where's she going to go? One, two, three, four. Over here. That means she takes one stamina hit. And we are going to fight these guys. Now, I would like to sneak past this bloke. So our sneak is at one. And that's a negative three. We've got nothing to sneak by. Oh, wait, I just gave away Mr. of a lie, didn't I? That's what I wanted to keep this for. I knew there was a reason. So yeah, we'll keep this. Okay, so any phase, cast an exhaust and pass an evade check. The casting modifier is equal to the awareness. So basically we tap this. Again, we are five law plus two plus three plus four minus one, two, three. And we're just going to sneak by the cultist. And the reason we're sneaking away the cultist is I just want to leave the cultist on the board because this guy requires a cultist for his, he just has to kill a cultist to get his, his pass. And then we'll kill this one here. So this is a horror check minus two. So our will is five plus one is six minus two is four. Whoa. that's a pass. And then for our combat, we'll do uh, we'll do Curse of Azeroth. So minus two. So that's minus one sanity. And again, it is oop, wrong button. It is five plus one for Voice of Ra, plus one for the Tome, plus another two for the Ally, minus three, which gives us six dice to get one hit. So this should definitely be a pass. 
Oh. Okay, when you make a fight check, add plus one to each die you roll for purposes of checking for successes. Now, I actually checked this out, and basically, I actually thought that this only aided you in actual fight checks, but it doesn't. So basically, there's there's sort of, there's your base checks, which is like speed, sneak, fight, will, low, or luck. And then there's things like, say, combat, which is a different type of check to fight, but it contains fight. You use your fight in combat. So you don't use your combat values inside fight checks. And that's why, uh, you know, add to combat check doesn't change your fight checks or whatever. But this one does. So grapple does allow you to use grapple. And it's basically crazy. Add plus one to each die you roll for purposes of checking for successes when rolling in combat. Now I've, it's already flashed off, but I'm absolutely certain I would have got at least one because they're basically rolling blessed. So the, they automatically disappeared. So here you go. So there's a four. So that would hit a point. That means he's dead. Boom. When I do the editing, I'll uh, have a look at the video and see exactly what I rolled last time uh, to make sure I didn't, I, I got it, but I'm pretty sure I would have. Anyway, that's the end of that. This bloke's turn. So if he has to roll for his uh, blessing. It's a pass. And what's he? Oh, yeah, he's going to do the safety deposit to kit thing, which is a luck minus two check. Gives him three dice. Oh, gee, only just makes it. So if you succeed, draw a unique item. Your blamo. Oh, Elder Sign. Nice. Uh, okay. And that cost him one movement point. So, yeah, so th this one here is allows you to exhaust combat checks. Grapple allows you to basically be blessed permanently for fighting. Uh, what am I going to do with him? He's got no money. I think I'm just going to go one, two, three to the newspaper, see if I can get money. I don't want him to go in and get sucked into that gate. Meanwhile, we've got $4 here. Uh, I think he's just going to go one, two, and pick up this clue. I'll leave all that same. And she's got five movement, so she's also going to go one, two, three, four, into the gate and take a stamina hit. And that's it. We're back at the beginning. So at the administration building with Angie, your blamo. Pass a law minus one check. Her law is six, so that's five die. And you blam, that's a pass. You discuss an opportunity to sell a monograph with the president of the university. Pass a law minus one check to make the sale and gain five dollars. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. You blomp. Nice. Uh, Skids is in the plateau of Lang, so up he goes. Yorick is at the boarding house. Ma Matheson tells you the best room in the house is available for the night. If you want, pay $3 to spend the night here. Gain four points split between sanity and stamina any way you choose. We're maxed out, so who cares? Yoink. Uh, okay, so Rita is at the abyss. Meow. And Daisy is at the dreamlands. And George is at the, well, we're not the curiosity shop, where are we? We're at the newspaper, right? The newspaper, your blamo. 
Editor Doyle Jeffries offers you a retainer in, ter- in return for your fascinating stories. Take a retainer card. Ah, oh, that's nice. A retainer card. You blamo. And this bloke is at the science building. Yoink. The shattered remains of an unusual object lies here. With some perseverance and luck, you might be able to reassemble it. Stay here next turn to make a luck minus one check. If you pass, draw one unique item. If you fail the check, choose not to attempt it. You have no idea how to reassemble the item and nothing happens. So our luck is two, might as well. So that is uh, two, uh, our luck is three. So that is a uh, luck minus one is two, your blemo. Your bam, 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 whoop. Your bam, 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 that's a pass. So we get a unique item. Oh, beautiful. I actually really love this item, uh, but it sort of makes spell casting a bit easier. I really would love to get that to Angie, but that also delays him. And she is also in the abyss. Yoink. Okay, let's do our other world encounters. We have the Plateau of the Lango. Uh, other. Uh, yep, other. You find some valuable items that you can sell back to item. Gay three bucks or one, two, three. Yeah, blemo. Easy. Uh, what's happening over here? Yeah, blam. In the abyss. Yeah, boom. You are lost in the darkness. Pass a luck minus two check or lose one sanity and stay here next turn. Okay, so that's not good. We have a luck minus one. Luck minus two check or lose one sanity and stay behind. How many clues have we got? Six. We need five clues to close, don't we? So I'm going to spend one clue and just risk it. Yeah, blammo. Oh, beautiful. That is some awesome luck. Okay, yeah, blam. Uh, we are at the dreamlands for good old Daisy. A monster appears, you bump, and it's another maniac, so who really cares? <laughs> so again, there's no sanity loss. We are still plus one here. Uh, I guess I'll use spectral razor. So that is a sanity cost of two. So we lose one sanity. What did I just... Oh, right, no. It was this object. Yeah, we just found the crystal down here, didn't we? Okay. So that is... Oh, maybe I'll just sneak by this guy. No. Okay, so anyway, so that's minus one sanity, and we just do a roll, which is six, including the voice of Ra, plus two from the ally, plus one from the dusty manuscripts plus one from the actual maniac and uh bam and this creates so many this i mean this this is a this is a goo killer this is like completely destroys the ancient ones so <laughs> it's twice the number of successes so that's actually eight hits we just completely destroy him and then we have down here in the other dimension. Boom. Uh, other. The strain is too much of you. Lose one sanity. Boink. Yeah, and that is that. Let's do the mythios. The unnameable is got an elder sign. Beautiful. That means nothing gets placed on the table. So let's do some movement. We've only got two monsters on the board, I think. Yep. So the Grug comes to downtown and that's it. There's a clue gets placed at the woods. And it's the blue flu. Cops are on strike, eh? All investigators in jail are released. No investigators may be arrested until the end of the next turn. Awesome. 
And that is the end of that turn. No Doom Token and no monsters. So assuming nothing goes wrong, we will finish in one, two. Two turns to win the game. That's if everything goes to plan. I noticed two errors while I was editing. One, he only has three movement and we used one movement for the silver key. So he only had two movement left. So he was in the bank and he only had two movement left. So he's just gonna stay at the bank, which means he wouldn't have gotten this retainer. And this retainer, I'm just gonna shuffle that back into the deck. But it does mean that he would have gotten a uh, bank thing. Uh, let's just move him back. Boom. It seems the bank interest rates are especially favorable today. You may take out a bank loan if you don't already have one. If you do so, gain $15 instead of the normal 10. However, you still only need to pay back the normal 10. Well, that's pretty good. Let's do that, shall we? Your blammo. Uh, pretty sure uh, in the upkeep here, remember we don't have to do our bank loan. God, that makes it so much better. I wonder how long I've, I've been playing that for years wrong. Okay, whatever. So we don't need to unroll for that next turn, but we do get 15 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And there's a shite load of money. Boom. Also, when we did Daisy's turn, we actually threw the we actually threw the maniac into here so this actually should be out here and I'll just give this another shuffle you know I screwed up this turn a little uh, I should have sent Angie instead of sending it to the administration she should have gone to South Church because next turn she's going to be the last player which means she will not be able to bless Rita. I should have blessed Rita because I've got the Grey's Anatomy, which I completely forgot about, and raised the value by one, which would make that one, two, three, four, five, and then I could have blessed her, and then she would have been blessed for the, uh, the roll to close the gate because at the moment she's got one clue. Shimmy she doesn't get any in the other world. So that kind of screwed that up. Oh well. Those fixes are now done. Okay. Well, that is that. I will see you guys. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do the next turn right now. Just for funzos. No, I'm not. I, 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 I always say I should do the second turn. And then when I'm editing, I realize, oh, this video is going for like an hour. So, I mean, it feels like I've just done a really quick turn, but it's probably 20 minutes. So I think I'll just call it there and I'll see you guys next time.